Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we will see how do you import or export objects from your Informatica Power Center tool to your local machine. If you have to transfer it from one environment to another environment, usually you would go with the deployment groups or edit copy paste, which we have discussed in the uh, deployment group session. Now let's say you are sharing this mapping or a workflow with another team who do not have access to your repository, right? How can they see the mapping? If they have to see that, you can export the code into a .xml format and share it to them through email or some shared access and whichever is possible. Also, sometimes you might, let's say you ran into an issue okay and uh, you found some sample code over the internet by someone explaining uh, all of the process which you might need or from the marketplace you have found something which you think is useful how do you import that onto your system and how do you look at the code is what we will see it's a simple process where you have to use a couple of uh, menu options and it should be done so let's get connected to the tool now which tool from which tool will you be able to import or export the objects now we have different tools for each of the objects which we have to use for example you would use the mapping designer if you have to import mappings transformations maplets you have workflow manager for your session tasks workflows and worklets Right now, as we have understood in all these days, if you get a workflow, okay, you have to find out, let's say I have shared a workflow with you. You have to ask me if that workflow is only export of workflow object, meaning it has only workflow and session. How is that possible? If you export something from the workflow manager, Okay, let's see that. I'll connect to this folder here. Okay, let's say I'm in the demo folder. And workflow. Let's say I'll take this dynamic TGTTC. Go to the repository in the menu. Export. Save it into your desired location. Okay. For now, I will use the desktop. I've saved it. That is exported. So what is exported in this now? Only this session, nothing else. Let's do the same thing in your designer. So I'll connect to the same folder here. Sorry, same repository, demo. And let's say there is a mapping, dummy long run. Okay, repository, export objects, desktop, save. Okay, if you go to the desktop, you can see the dummy long run and TGTTC. Now, what is the difference here? This is only a mapping. This is only a session task and the workflow. But let's say you want to get the whole dependent content of a particular object. What is the dependent content? If you take a process, it is not complete until unless you have a mapping session and the workflow so when you export the workflow if you want the whole setup which is your mapping session and the workflow to be exported you have to connect to your repository manager i'm in the repository manager here let's say i do the sql script mode now export then in this if you look at the objects you have source you have target, you have mapping, you have session, and you have workflow. If you do this for the mappings and the workflows alone, then you would, for mapping, you would only get source definition, target definition, mapping. If you do only workflow, you would get session and the workflow. So you would not get the complete set. Okay, I'll repeat it. If you want to get the complete set of an object, what is a complete set? The whole dependent objects, which is your source, target, mapping, session, and the workflow.
then you have to export it from your repository manager. Same is the case when you're importing into it. We'll look into it in a minute. And if you want to have individual objects, then you have to go to Mapping Designer or your Workflow Designer. All right, now that's the export process. Now, as it is already there on the desired location you have, you can attach it into an email or put it in a shared drive where the other person can access and do the rest of the activities. Now, let's say you are at the receiving end. All right, now you want to import the same code onto your environment. Okay, again, if you're aware that the object which is given to you is a complete set, then you would have to connect to the repository manager. Okay, let's see the examples there. So let's assume you got a complete set. So you connect to that folder, go to the repository in the menu, import objects, click browse, go to the location where you have saved it, and let's take this one incremental changes with maplet click open next now if you are getting it from some other environment see this the folder is different i don't have this marketplace mappings in my whole of the folder structure under my repository this is the one which the source or the provider whoever has done it or whoever has shared this with you they have created it right that is not there in your system or in your environment just click add all if you need everything but if it is only the maplet or the mapping which you need then you would select only that and click add right now it has copied everything including the folder name now let's see if it creates that folder or what will happen when it comes to that level click next it is saying the XML is from a different folder on which destination folder do you want to copy it? So the folder in the XML file is info world repo and the marketplace mappings. So the info world repo is the repository. Marketplace mappings is the folder from the source, right? What is the destination? Destination is my environment here. So I'll click on that. I'll click on the demo here click OK. Next, it is asking, do you want to check it in once it is copied? If yes, you'll check this box. Obviously, you'll have to comment it because it's versioning. Right now, I'll uncheck this. You can also apply a label. Labeling is another versioning concept where you give a label to a particular group or a set of objects to identify that on XYZ scenario, you have done this. All right, let's cancel both of this. I will not do any of these right now. Click next. Now, the whole of these steps, let's say these are the repetitive steps which you have to do every day. Then you can create a rule for this saying, if it is a label, if it is a query, if it is an object, then do this else directly. Replace, rename, reuse. Okay, what are all this? We'll come to it. For now, I'll not select anything because it won't be a quite often process where you have to do it on a regular basis or 10 times a day in the standard environment. But if you're doing it, you can explore this option to make your job easy. Again, not every object will match to the scenarios which are required here. Click next. Now, these are all the new ones. Right, none of these are existing in my folder. So it has automatically created all of it, except for the default session configuration. That's the one which is already existing in my system. So it is asking me if you want to rename it, replace it, or reuse the existing one. If you're not sure, you can click on compare conflicts where it will show you what are the differences, where one of the property is set to no in the incoming object, and in my default session configuration, which I have set for the whole session tasks, is yes. Okay, so you can look at those options, and that's the only difference right now. So if you think that's a replaceable option or a reusable option, you'll check it.
I'll say reuse for now because I do not want to change my systems configuration. If you have multiple scenarios like this, you can right click on this option and apply this setup of reuse to all conflicts. I don't have that right now, but I'm just showing it to you. Click next, that is done. Close, that's already resolved the status. If you want to view or edit, you can change it. I'll import it. Okay, that's the status. If you look at these blue lines here, there's some warning. If there are some things which you have to note down or which you have to change in this copy process, those will come up in this color. Usually these are the ones which differ from your environment to the other environment, which are the integration service. Obviously your integration service will be different and the sources integration service will be different. The database connections, and it's just an indication that you need to change the database connection and whatever is valid. In this case, on my environment, this is what is required to be changed. So if you have a look at it, before you start the workflow, make sure you implement all these changes and go ahead with the rest of the process. Click done. And here is my workflow, which I've just imported. Okay. Sometimes you might have to disconnect the folder, which is here. You might have to disconnect the repository and connect it back to see the latest changes. All right, as repository is auto save, it will automatically save it. Now let's say you've already imported this. Okay, there is some mistake which you have figured out and you have contacted the source uh, provider of this mapping saying there was some mistake. Can you send me the latest one and things like that? They've sent you another one. Okay, let's say that's there on my desktop the same place so i'll click on browse i'll select it click next add all click next destination folder will be demo next i do not want that check-in to be done here also i'll click on next then you have this option if you have an object with the same name already existing and if you're trying to get the same thing again you would get this option where it will have a conflict. You can rename it or replace the existing ones and apply that conflict to all the objects. Then everything will be using the same replace option. Click next. These are all of these will be replaced. This workflow has a persistent value. Okay, has a persistent mapping value. We'll talk about this separately on a different session. So if you want to retain that value, it is a value which is coming through the native code, which is your workflow, which you're trying to import. If you're getting it, or if you want to get the same value from the other environment, you would check on this. If you think functionally and logically that is not required for your environment, you can uncheck it, click next, and everything will be replaced. You still have these options to be enabled. That's the reason it has figured out that you have to do these changes and it has given you the warning. Okay, that is the replace option. Now this is for all the related changes. Now what is the mapping here? See this, that's a related maplet and that's a related mapping. So when I've imported only the workflow, I got a mapping maplet the related sources targets this is customer master customer dimension and the session related to it which is under the workflows tab that is invalid because of the database connection which is coming from the source but we have to set it to our environment specific database connection all right now that's for the complete set now let's say if you have only the mapping or only the workflow, then you can go to the designer directly, repository, import objects, browse, and go to the desktop. Let's say this is my mapping. Open, same thing again, add all. This name is already existing, so I'll replace it. 
the targets so I can apply this replace option to all the conflicts which I'm getting I click next import no warnings meaning everything is good done here in mapping designer and the workflow manager you need to save it it's not auto save like repository manager so you need to save them. same here import objects if you have only the workflows and the sessions without the mapping then you would do this okay i had the sample there add all if you see this you only have the default session config and the workflow next same thing again it's already existing if there is something else apply this conflict to all the mappings it's asking me which mapping do you want to choose that's this because it has to be embedded within a session next import done okay so this is the process you need to analyze to see the dependence if you're receiving it from some other source ask them if the mapping in the sessions are embedded within the workflows if not you have to use these tools okay these are the different ways of doing it based on the situation based on the code which you're getting in and based on the environment you're doing it you can try multiple options all right that's about export and import option thank you